Hello and welcome to eMulti Skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is bloat or bloating in PostgreSQL. So let us see what is bloat in PostgreSQL. So let's take a scenario where in an application is trying to update an existing record in a table of a particular database. So when a update happens, it does two action. First, it creates a new record which is a result of uh, uh, the update and the previous value of that particular record is still existing in the database or in that particular table as a dead tuple. So let's say um, in that table due to the application behavior, uh, the rate of generation of those dead tuples is more than those tuples are getting removed it is known as bloating so you you must have gone through the auto vacuum process where in uh, the dead tuples in the tables are removed due to auto vacuum and if uh, the rate of uh, accumulation of the tuples in the database is more than the rate of the removal. It results in the existence of those uh, uh, dead tuples that they keep on accumulating. So that is known as bloat. Let us see a bloating scenario, how, how actually it happens. So I'm just taking the same uh, example again. Uh, our application is trying to update or delete the records in the database, let's say a particular table. In a minute, there are uh, about hundreds of uh, records. They are updated or deleted. And due to the behavior of Postgre, when 100 records are updated or uh, let's say deleted, it results i it results in two action if it is an update 100 new records are generated as a result of update and exact 100 records are accumulated as the dead tuples which has the uh, the previous value and if my auto clean process is running which is used to remove the tuples and let's say uh, my auto uh, clean uh, which is known as uh, the uh, auto clean process is trying to uh, to remove those uh, tuples which is known as the auto vacuum process it is removing 90 records per minute so every minute 10 records are getting generated or accumulated as dead tuples so this is leading to a bloating so in one minute where 100 records are updated uh, 10 records are keep on accumulating so you can understand how many uh, dead tuples will generate in an hour or in a day if those uh, dead tuples are not removed so what is the problem they may cause to the postgresql first of all the number of records uh, they will uh, be more, although they will not be visible, but in terms of the size of the table, it increases. So what it does, it, uh, it uh, decreases the performance of uh, overall uh, query execution, wherein that particular table uh, is involved, uh, where uh, bloating has happened. And uh, when the bloating is there in a particular table let's say uh, there are 100 records uh, 1000 records in a particular table and due to bloating this has become uh, 2000 or 3000 i am assuming that those dead tuples are not uh, uh, removed or uh, due to uh, let's say we are not knowing or uh, due to due to an, any reason so we are not uh, we have not removed those dead tuples so, so it leads into the inaccurate statistics of the table. So when the, the query having that particular table is executed, uh, it gives the wrong statistics of the table. Instead of having the actual thousand rows, it has more than 3000 rows it has, the, uh, it has to traverse. So it gives the inaccurate uh, statistics when the execution happens for that particular query wherein that table is involved so uh, when a query executes there uh, it generates an uh, execution plan and if the table statistics are not 
correct then the execution plan will also not be optimum and instead of giving the best results on a best time period it will give you some uh, it will give you the result in an appropriate time let us suppose the uh, execution time should be 10 seconds then due to this uh, bloating and uh, it depends upon the number of bloated rows uh, it may be more than that so it is it is causing a lot of problems so it causes the performance degradation uh, of overall uh, database where uh, bloating has happened in those tables so what are the options for removal of uh, those it has to be removed so you can go for the vacuum full which is a manual process when you do the vacuum full for the entire database let us suppose we are going to do the vacuum full for the entire database it is a kind of complete downtime for the database you cannot do anything in in that particular time so it is just like it is going to create a new copy and uh, and uh, the tables will be logged uh, during that time and you need to have double the space uh, let's say you your table is of 10 GB then you need additional 10 GB so that it can create a new copy and can delete the older copy uh, later so this removes the bloat second is PG repack so this is an online option to rebuild your tables where bloating has happened and when you this is not available by default so you need to install this package and uh, once it is installed you can uh, uh, do the online repacking of your database or the table so what it does it creates a fresh copy of the table without those dead tuples and uh, it is as good as your full vacuum but this, this is not going to lock your table for uh, like your uh, vacuum processes uh, doing and last in this is the demo how to remove the uh, the bloat Uh, so I have listed the step over here and uh, I'm logged in as a Postgre user. Uh, let's log into PSQL prompt and uh, let us see the number of tables which I have. Uh, let's say the databases I have. Uh, let's go to DVD rental. So we, what we are going to do is we are going to, to do two things one is uh, let us assume although there is no bloating I have not deleted or updated anything so I'm going to uh, run a vacuum verbose analyze so what what it is going to do it is uh, going to do uh, let's say vacuum full and we can give the table name or uh, let's let's do it for the entire database I'm not okay let me switch to DVD rental database yes and now execute the vacuum command for the entire database so you can see all the tables in that particular uh, database are getting vacuumed although there is uh, uh, no dead tuple but it, it has done everything so you can see uh, uh, vacuuming uh, this particular table and uh, the index let's say here also public dot film uh, this is the table name this is the index name so it, it will remove uh, since this is a very small sized uh, database but in large uh, database it can take its own time and this takes a lot of CPU and CPU and the compute resources so you need to plan it during the complete downtime and second is PG repack so what I can do is uh, uh, my PG underscore repack binary is available at this we can do some kind of uh, of dry run for the database so let's do this so pg repack hyphen dry hyphen run dvd rental so we are going to do a uh, dry run oh, okay this is i have to come out of this clear the screen and let's do the dry run 
so you can see repacking is happening so it is going to uh, to repack the uh, the table again so that all the uh, the bloating is removed this is a dry run and uh, when you do it actually you will be doing it like this uh, pg underscore repack hyphen d then the database name or you can give the table name also so uh, uh, you can give uh, hyphen hyphen table and the table name i'm doing it for the entire database so let's see how it is happening so repacking table so this has done the first one was dry run how it is going to happen then there is the uh, the next one is the actual run uh, so just a recap of what we have seen is uh, what is bloating bloating is nothing just uh, the uh, the dead tuples which keeps on accumulating into the database and when your auto um, vacuum process is not able to remove it the number of uh, dead tuples keep on uh, accumulating that is known as the bloat uh, bloating scenario we have taken wherein an application is generating n number of uh, it is going to update uh, n number of records and uh, few records keep on accumulating as uh, dead tuples resulting in the bloating and leads to the poor performance of the database due to the size of the table which has increased in enormously and uh, the indexes go as well the statistics of the table change because uh, the records actual records are name not same as the 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 uh, the records which are present because of uh, the dead tuples the query execution uh, plan uh, go haywire because of uh, uh, the wrong statistics and then we saw how to remove the bloating we saw vacuum full which locks all the table uh, and it requires downtime then another is pg underscore repack where in the repacking for the individual table happens or for the entire database and this is an online activity and this is this is good good uh, and, uh, i have installed it separately and uh, once i have repacked all the tables i'm going to remove this particular package so then we saw how to remove the bloat uh, using both the process using uh, 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 using uh, uh, vacuum full and then pg repack i hope uh, a a removal of bloating process is going to help and uh, thanks for watching